What's up YouTube? Hello and welcome back to the Radiant Pineapple Skincare channel. I am Pineapples and in today's video I'm going to be showing you guys my current uh, struggle skincare routine so stay tuned. Okay you guys so for those who do not know I live in Texas. I'm born and raised and I don't know if a lot of you guys know, but due to the snowstorm that happened this past week, <clears throat> pretty much it ended up causing a lot of power outages as well as basically water shortage. And so throughout this past week, a lot of people have experienced not having electricity as well as water. Now, in my case, I have my electricity on the whole time. However, starting on Wednesday is when they cut off the water that's in my area. So Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. So I haven't had water for five days. And y'all, it's, it's really bad. The stores, they have no food. On top of food, it's spoiling. And then, of course, you know, everyone buying up all the water. I do know that um, trucks are starting to come back in and bring water and stuff like that because the snow is currently melting. And i say about a good 70% of snow has melted for the most part. Because I know yesterday I went out and there was a lot of cars on the road. So we are, or Texas is clearing up of the snow. However, a lot of people are still out of water, including myself. So because I do not have water right now, I know like there's been a lot of different places that have been giving out water, but I'm gonna be honest, I've been really lazy to go. Like I still have bottled water, but I'm being really like conservative of my water. And so like, as far as like my hygiene, like my body care, I've just been using baby wipes to wipe off because even then they say like if you do have working water, you gotta boil it, but of course I don't have water. And so I'll probably maybe today try to go get some water. I know my mom texted me earlier, she's like, HGV has water, go get some. But yeah, y'all, I just don't like going to the store when there's a lot of people because I did have to get out on Thursday to go to the store because I kept dirtying up dishes and I didn't have any paper plates or forks or spoons. So I was like, yeah, like I'm not gonna have a sink full of dirty dishes. So I did go out Thursday and I went and got paper plates and forks and spoons. But even then, there's just so many people in the store. So maybe today, maybe tomorrow, I'll go out and get some water. So usually, as far as my morning skincare routine goes, I would basically just take a cloth and run it through uh, some cold water. And I would just wipe off my nighttime uh, skincare. I don't wash my face in the morning, especially right now because it is winter time. And so I'm just trying to really make sure that my skin stays moisturized and hydrated so it doesn't get dry. So in this case, I have uh, some micellar cleansing water by Garnier. And then also I have these Neutrogena wipes. So what I'm gonna do is take these wipes and take my micellar cleansing water. And so this is my way of cleansing my skin. And so right now, my routine for nighttime, I'm gonna be honest y'all, like I don't do this part at night. Like I just throw on my Bakuchu oil and then I throw on my Infinite, um, what is it, my Infinite oil, face oil. And then I put on some moisturizer. That's what I do at night. But in the morning, I take my micellar water with my cleansing wipes. And I understand that the beauty community, or as far as the skincare beauty community, they don't really like wipes, makeup wipes in particular. But you guys, when you're in a situation like this, thank God for freaking uh, makeup wipes because this has been the only thing that's really saved my skin. So I know, of course, my face is still gonna be dirty, but your girl gotta just wing it for right now. So I'm just taking this and just wiping it all over my face. 
and I'm gonna take one more wipe and repeat this one more time and then I'll move on to my next skincare step. Now I don't know if you guys can see this but because I haven't been able to wash my face y'all I got this fat pimple right here and oh my gosh look at that <laughs> it sucks y'all I hope this doesn't turn into like a huge like cystic pimple or something like that but it's big y'all and this one I've been had this one I finally just popped it I was like whatever you've been there too long so I popped it last night but yeah this hasn't come to a head yet but oh gosh I'm scared I know I know if it does come to a head like when it pops I know this one for sure is going to be too sorry okay so up next I'm going to be taking the good molecules niacinamide brightening toner uh, this is with niacinamide, vitamin C, arbutulin, licorice root, extracted to brighten and improve appearance of enlarged pores. I love this. Well, really, I love the texture. So, I'm going to take this in my hand. And usually, people be like using cotton pads to put on their toners. But, I don't. I don't like cotton pads. So... This is just my preferred method. So I'm gonna apply this on my forehead and then as well as my neck. Okay, and then up next, I'm gonna take the number seven Radiance Plus 15% vitamin C serum. Now you guys, when I first use this, usually I like to do my serums first and then my toner, but with this, you gotta apply your toner first and then this second because y'all, my face was so sticky the first time I used it and I was like, oh my gosh. So yeah, if you guys ever end up buying this serum, just make sure to apply your toner first or even then, cause I haven't, cause I just started using this this week cause I just bought it last week. So, like, sometimes during the day, um, what is it that I use? I have a Alpha Arbutulin by the Inky List. I sometimes put that on. So, I haven't tried it yet to where I would put the Alpha Arbutulin and then the Vitamin C Serum. Because I was curious to know if it would be sticky. But I ran out of the uh, Alpha Arbutulin. Um, by the inky list, so I need to order some more. But I was kind of gonna try something different. So I need to do some shopping. I know I did another thing that I was using. I was using the acetic acid by uh, Natrium, and I'm also uh, out of that too. But I ended up ordering Polish Choice um, Acetic Acid. But I ordered the sample size. I wasn't ready to buy the big one yet because the big one is like, I think over $30. So, but Alpha Opportunity and Acetic Acid, they are great for dark spots. And so sometimes I rotate, like one day I'll do my Alpha Opportunity and then my Vitamin C or I'll do my acetic acid and then I'll do my vitamin C. But in this case, since I don't have either one, I've just been using my vitamin C. So up next, I have the Andalou Naturals Illuminating uh, Vitamin C Toner. Um, I know from my previous review, I said I didn't like this because it made my face tingle. But honestly, you guys, my views on this have changed because my skin does not tingle anymore. I don't know. I know I'm not gonna buy this again, but I just think it's so crazy how like when I was first using this, my skin would tingle like right off the bat once the toner touched my face. But it doesn't do that anymore. But yeah, I use this maybe four to five times out of the week sometimes i forget honestly and you guys i usually don't apply two toners but in this case since i don't have my acetic acid and my alpha armature i'm just trying to double up on the vitamin c 
because I really want to make sure my skin's protected. Okay, up next, I have the Close RX Advanced Snow 96 Mucin uh, Power Essence. Y'all, I use this day and night. I absolutely love it. People be like, yeah, it helps with my pores. Honestly, I haven't really noticed a difference in my pores. But y'all, this is really great, especially if your skin is irritated or inflamed. Cause I know I had a couple of times where my skin, especially right up here when I was going through some crazy stuff with my melasma. And as soon as I put this on, oh my gosh, it was just super melasma. So once this runs out, I'm definitely gonna order another one, but I still get a lot, so. I usually do anywhere from two to four pumps. And let me make sure to get my neck as well. Ooh, so look at that glow. Look at that glow. Okay, and then I have next the Cetaphil Oil Absorbing Moisturizer. And this has a SPF 30 sunscreen in it. And I really like this, you guys, because one, it's really light on the skin hasn't clogged my pores. And two, this is my way of continuing to layer that defense on my face. Cause I'm still gonna apply a sunscreen after this. And you guys, it really does uh, blend in well with the skin. But of course, like, you know, it does have sunscreen in it. It's not like a mineral sunscreen. So the best thing is to take small amounts and just work it into your skin so you don't get that white cast. And that's what I'm doing right here. So I'm gonna take some and apply some on my eyelids. And yeah, like I said in one of my previous videos, I don't even put a sunscreen on my ears and stuff, y'all. I don't know, I'm just lazy. <laughs> Okay, and last, I have the Sukin uh, Sun Care SPF 30 Sheer Touch Tinted Sunscreen. Uh, this is uh, medium dark, UVA, UVB, broad spectrum. So, this blends in so well with my skin, y'all. And it almost looks like, it kind of gives me like, I have like makeup on my face. But... I really like this and I've been using this for a week as well and I know in my previous video when I was uh, talking about it in my Target uh, skincare haul I was saying that right off the bat I was impressed with how it blends in with my skin but I was still skeptical because I wanted to see how well it did with my melasma and I've been using this all week and let me wipe this and this is what my melasma looks like so it's been doing really good with coverage on my melasma now do i um put this on throughout the day no because i mean i've been at home all week so i've only put this on once and that's it so um when i start going outside again and stuff like that i'm gonna have to really put this to test I'll be back out in the sun and whatnot. But this is what it's looking like, y'all. I don't know why. I think I put too much on right now. But it's still blending out really good. And I usually put like really, really small dots. And I'll do it like two or three times to make sure it's really blended into my skin. So yeah, you guys, this video has come to an end. I'm just not even gonna bother with exfoliating my skin because I just, I'm just trying to be safe in regards to my skin because as you can see, like, I already got a pimple from not washing my face and I'm just not trying to do anything crazy. So this has been my skincare routine for going on five days now. 
I'm praying that the water turns back on this week. I don't know. And like I said earlier, I am going to be going to the store for some water. But I already know like the stores, they're going to probably be like always going to get one package of water or something like that. So even then, like... I don't know. I haven't decided yet if I'm even going to attempt to like try boil water and wash my face that way because even then like it's like you would need a bowl for one like your, your, just like your clean water and then two you would need a bowl for like your soapy water. But in this case this skincare routine has been working for me including my nighttime skincare routine. So I'm probably honestly just going to keep it like it is for right now until things start changing. Also, if you guys can, please pray for Texas. I know there are other people out there who have it a lot worse than I do. And I will say I have been very fortunate, especially with having my electricity, because I have had a lot of family and friends who said they didn't have electricity. And yeah, I just... I'm really, really grateful for that. Also, if you are from Texas and you are watching this video, I want you to comment below. Tell me how's it going for you. Tell me what your experience has been during this whole entire week. And until next time, I'll see you guys in the next video.